Once you find the point of entry, then you basically know the height and give you some clue. And other side, inside of the, this window is a kitchen. Against this window is a table. What this tells us? That person pretty heavy, a big guy, and pretty young, can push himself and go through and step on it. Uh, of course, here you should look for shoe print. And uh, of course, uh, this case already have uh, they already at the scene for a day now. Uh, when I get there, and uh, mother body was found inside the bedroom. They uh, already took the medical examiner's office, and the daughter uh, was found in the hallway. Those tells me the multiple deposit. First is the blood smear. Then here, that's a case called arterial spurting, uh, probably cut the throat. And uh, of course, we develop a partial print here. And uh, uh, this is the little girl. In addition, what do you think? All right, it's not the shoe, okay? And uh, it's not barefoot either. Uh, everybody think it's barefoot. Look at carefully, it's a sock spring, sock spring. And uh, sock spring, in addition, we have blood drops. That tells me his right hand more likely injured. So that become important to do DNA. Uh, so data mining engine, you have to start look at uh, all this possibility, but nobody ever think about he is just a high school student. And uh, uh, he saw this uh, teenager and uh, with a big hand bandage in the hand, and said, what happened with your finger? He said, well, I cut in the engine block. I fixed my car. They said, can you show my, in your car? And uh, this officer really thorough, show, show my car, or show your car. And, uh, he can't show the car. So the officer said, why don't you come with us to the uh, office? Maybe we uh, have a couple more questions to ask you. And uh, when he come in, they say, Doc, what we should ask him? I said, tell him take off the shoes. Guess what? We solved the case, so should luck, he still wear the bloody socks. Yeah. And uh, when you see ghost pattern and rotten banana, most likely, this is a chronic alcoholic person. About 20, 30 years ago, my first rotten banana case, I was called to the scene, middle of the night, and uh, this uh, uh, an old man, bald-headed, sitting on a rocking chair, rocking back and forth, and the police chief said, Doc, look at him, guilty like hell. He wear a pajama, blow over the place, rocking. I said, what? Well, it's his wife, married 50 years, and uh, he had no emotion, just rocked back and forth. That time, I look at him, I think he's guilty like hell, right? You don't even cry or something. Now, after I married 50 years, if my wife died, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do, to celebrate or cry or <laughs> what. So, because you are become best friend for 50 years. You lost, just you lost your partner. You don't know what to going to do. I did one thing correctly. I got to the kitchen. I look at a, a lot of blood style, spatter and a lot of blood and a lot of ghost pattern, but no external injury. Medical examiner thinks that's a homicide. I said, wait a second. That much blood, no external injury. That's time it's a female medical examiner. She said, you are right, Dr. Lee, you are right. We see rotten banana on the kitchen counter on the windowsill. So after that case, more and more cases. Why have rotten bananas? Because chronic alcoholic people, their teeth become so weak, the gun becomes so weak, the teeth become so loose. They can't chew bananas. Banana have a lot of potassium, a lot of mineral, which really need. So they put the banana until it's rotten, soft, they can't eat. So if you see that combination, usually indicative, chronic alcoholic. So basic people say, well, Dr. Lee, 
we know all this basic technique. Can you teach us some more advanced technique? So I was on the plan and uh, come up with standing technique, bending technique, advanced bending technique, <laughs> squatting, kneeling, sitting, and uh, combination. Goes to crime scene, of course you stand up to exam. That's called standing and search each other technique. And uh, when you get to the scene, you cannot stand up. The body is on the ground, so you use bending technique. And uh, so people use advanced bending technique. Squatting, because Oriental we can squat. That's my assistant, Dr. Karizoulas. He cannot squat. He only advanced bending with a big magnifying glass. He did not find the shit. I right away found two hairs on her finger, and uh, later we did the mitochondria DNA. So squatting really is a good technique. Why Caucasian cannot squat? That's called squatting sleeping technique, and uh, the Caucasian cannot squat. They all arguing. So I just take a nap. They argue. So finally I said, Dr. Lee, what's your advice? I said, well, everybody should learn squatting, take a meditation, let's think about it. Of course I know exactly what to do. Uh, look at uh, anybody lost a leg first, right? <laughs> and uh, if nobody lost a leg, of course we know that's a male. Actually, these two pieces are from the same individual, different individual. That's a post-mortem card or everything. Of course, kneeling, when you cannot squat and uh, you cannot bend, you knee. Knee, that's the first World Trade Center uh, bombing. And uh, ATF, uh, FBI, see, uh, uh, New York police did an excellent job. I was uh, called because the person in charge of the crime scene. I'm just a Chinese uh, tourist. I took a picture. Everybody <laughs> kneeling. What's the problem with kneeling? Contamination. Also, knee hurt. <laughs> knee hurt. <laughs> When I was young, my mother, you know, punished me, Nia, for hours, I start confess. I said, Mom, just let me get up. I must confess anything you want. And uh, so when you get to Dr. Bottom size, 280 pounds, drink a lot of beer, he cannot knee, he cannot bend, he used the sitting technique. And uh, of course, why Caucasian cannot knee? Because uh, I visited England, uh, this uh, museum, that's a 14th century uh, Western toilet. Uh, the museum director, very nice, let me get in. I said, I want to take a picture of this. Oh, Dr. Lee, we recognize you, sure. Why you want to take a picture of the, this? Pretty easy, because uh, <laughs> Caucasian cannot be. And uh, this is an oriental toilet. If you sit, what's going to happen? Shit going to be all over the place. You cannot sit. So when we're young, we practice squatting. And uh, of course, uh, this is a case, double homicide. To my assistant, use advanced bending. I just no use kneeling. Uh, squatting right away, I found more evidence. And uh, so we become National Crime Scene Center, trained uh, detective all over the world. If any of you are interested to come to our training class, you are welcome. Just say, I met you, I give you a discount, okay? Just don't listen to my uh, director of uh, training. He charged you a lot of money. You said, Dr. Lee said, promise us, give us a discount. And uh, this training class, this guy from Los Angeles, he cannot knee, so I flunk him. Uh, <laughs> so we teach you how to knee. Uh, how, he cannot squat. <laughs>